What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fortnite Marketing, and welcome to Braze for Technical Marketers. Today, let's talk about what is a campaign and go over the different campaign statuses available in Braze. Let's get started. So very, very simply put, a campaign is a single message step in Braze. If you have a single message journey, you use a campaign to do that versus if you have a multi-step message journey, you use a Braze canvas, which we can talk about in the future. But a campaign, very, very simply put, is a single message step. Um, and Braze does offer various channels. We'll go over and dissect each channel in much more detail in the future. Um, but they do have, Braze does have channels like content cards, email, in app messages, push, SMS, um, and they're always working on more. So well, here's what a campaign looks like in Braze. You can either go to the quick link campaigns or go to messaging campaigns. And maybe I want to create like a welcome uh, single message campaign, a welcome email for our user. So I can create campaign, an email, and actually you can see the different channels that were available. If we go back real quick, um, you see these four channels. My dashboard, our dashboard is limited to a few channels, but the more channels that you uh, have under your Braze contract, the more options you'll see here. So back to the campaign that we had, this is what a campaign looks like, an email campaign. Um, let's give it a name, welcome uh, new user onboarding email, for example. And for this campaign, I'm going to choose one of the templates that Braze offers. Um, they must have some sort of welcome campaign. Let's see if I look at all 49, if they have something that would be good for us. And onboarding one, that is exactly what I'm looking for. And for this video, I won't focus too much about the actual campaign creation too much, but just navigating what the campaign looks like um, and the different settings that might be available to us. There are also multiple pages for every campaign creation. So there's the composed messages, which is where we really build our message. But there's also schedule delivery, target audiences, assigned conversions, and a review page, each of which we will go over um, in detail. Uh, moving on to campaign statuses. Let's say I'm not done building this campaign. So I'm going to save as a draft. And draft is actually one of the first statuses that we can have in Brace. So back to the campaigns tab. By default, you'll see um, only active campaigns, but you can very easily just click the drop down and go to all. And you can see that the welcome new user onboarding email campaign that I just uh, created but did not publish or did not launch is in draft status. And if I visit the Braze documentation page for understanding campaign statuses, that's also listed here. So mark this draft, not launched. Um, they're just in draft mode. And then of course, if I wanted to go and uh, launch that campaign, that campaign will now uh, be shown as active. So let's take a look at that in the dashboard. So let's say I open up this campaign and it makes some adjustments and solve all errors so that it is now launch ready. And now we're getting ready to launch. We go to the review page. We've looked at everything. Everything looks good. And we launch this campaign. And now we've changed the status from draft to active. So if we go back to the campaign page, we should see it here, and you can now see that the status is active. Next, we have stop status. So the campaign that I just launched, let's say, oh, I actually want to stop it. Maybe I have to make a change or just the campaign became no longer relevant. Uh, we can click the three dots, and then we can go ahead and choose stop, and that will just stop um, the campaign itself. So it says confirm the activation, let's say, while stopped, any messages scheduled to be sent is stopped and will be permanently canceled. So no queued up or pending messages will be sent. Um, if there's an A-B test and it's end, everything is sent. If the initial test hasn't sent yet, the A-B test will resume with the campaign. So, so reading that part carefully one more time, it looks like if there's an A-B test and the initial test has already sent, the A-B test will be permanently canceled. Um, so if the first part may be sent, maybe the second part won't will not send, but it says if the initial test hasn't sent yet, the AB test will resume with the campaign. This tells me that it will still be stopped. And when the campaign gets resumed, it will resume. Not hundred percent sure about that one. Um, events for messages that have already been sent will still be tracked. So if the campaign has already sent analytics will continue. You will be able to restart this campaign by clicking resume. So it's not a permanent stop. We can resume and reactivate. 
and any draft in this campaign will be discarded. So you can actually have drafts saved within an active campaign. And it looks like that will be gone when we stop this one. Um, and one last note, once resumed, this campaign will resume sending messages, but any messages that were missed will not be resent or rescheduled. So it truly is a stop, a stopping in the campaign. Um, and the next time we relaunch it, it kind of starts over as it's being, as if it's being launched for the first time. Let's go ahead and stop it. And you will see that it is now not showing up in the active page. But if I go to all, uh, we see in the stopped campaign. Next, we have archives. So let's say the campaign that I just stopped, um, it is permanently uh, no longer relevant. And I just don't want it to even show up when I, um, you know, I'm looking through some campaigns and it's just not really re important for us anymore. I'm going to go ahead and archive it. And once again, archive is not a forever deletion. Um, it will still always be there. You can even search for archive campaigns and they'll have the archive status uh, symbol. But even an archive campaign can be re-brought back by the unarchive button. So I just click unarchive, it simply comes back. But archiving a campaign um, cleared it from the detailed statistics graphs on the overview and revenue pages. So it no longer considers any archive campaigns in certain parts of the dashboard. And then lastly, we have idle status. So let's say we brought back that campaign. And then let's say we actually even launched it again. So we are going to resume and let's see what happens. If we resume it, it's back to active, um, but I am going to go ahead and edit this campaign and set an end date um, of, let's have it to end immediately. So at 6.05 PM, which is actually a time in the past, it is going to be over. And what I wanted to show us here is a campaign that has a set end date in the past will no longer send anymore. Um, or if it was just a one time send campaign where it was scheduled to send once and then there's no more future scheduled sends um, that are coming up, then the campaign will change to idle status. And you can actually read more about idle status um, in this documentation page right here. But an idle status means that it is still technically active, but there are no longer or no more additional um, scheduled sends coming up. So sooner or later, it's going to become um, archive status or stop status. So it's like, yes, it's still active as of right now, but it's not doing anything. Um, and Braze implemented this new status um, in the last year or two to just help clean up the dashboard because so many teams dashboards would be flooded with just campaigns that sent once maybe a year ago or two years ago. And it wasn't really relevant, useful uh, campaign to see on our, on our main dashboard. Um, so they wanted to clean that up by creating this idle status. I believe there are some rules uh, with the idle status. Uh, so it needs to follow all three of these criteria for it to be marked idle. Um, and also there are sometimes a buffer period before a campaign changes to becoming idle status. So, we can definitely read more about that here. And if idle is truly a uh, topic that has a lot of questions, we can also make a video just dedicated for idle statuses and going over all the questions here. Lastly, Braze has a campaign FAQ. Lots of great questions to go over here. Um, a lot of these get a lot very detailed, which we will cover in our future videos. So definitely take a second to look through all of these questions. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.